A quick thanks to my patrons for funding my necrotic existence and making the development of this game possible. Hello everyone. I've been working on the skill book for my High Priestess of Sahanek. This is her here. And um, so when she levels up, she needs to improve herself. And this is the current draft I've got. So you've got three pages. On one page you've got sorcery. On the other page you've got zombies. And on the last page you've got monsters. And I'll just run you through what I've got for zombies first. So with each little node, you can level it up three times. And with the first level of A, you get plus one zombie per spawn cycle. And that increases to a maximum of plus four. Then if you go for B, the zombies get more hit points, and when you max out the B, it will be that zombies get more hit points for every zombie that's around them, to a maximum of 100%. Then for C, you've got zombies getting back up after they die. Then for D, zombies will transmit a plague when they attack enemies that will cause them to come back as zombies themselves once that enemy dies. Then for the other side, it's more about uh, quality of the zombies. So if we look here, the first one is making the zombies deal more damage. And it starts off with 15% more damage, then 5% per nearby zombie to a maximum of 50%. And then for the final level of the first node, they get a random melee weapon, which will increase their damage by a fixed amount. Then for the next node, F, the zombies start spawning in armor. So the first level is light armor, second level is medium armor, and the third level is heavy armor. Then after that, I've got 30% chance of a mummy spawning in instead of a zombie. And you can see the mummy here in this little picture. And uh, the mummy is like a spellcaster. And it will be like throwing kinds of dark bolts and dark magic at enemies. But if you upgrade that level again, it will start to heal nearby zombies. And then for the final level of it, it will start spawning in a mummy like as an extra minion rather than a 30% chance of taking a zombie slot and turning that into a mummy. Then for the final node, which is the most interesting node, in my opinion, is that zombies lose their sluggish movement and they get humanoid animations so they basically become like like people running around with swift attacks and stuff like that they'll still look like zombies but their behavior is like that of a human so that's like really a really strong ability then in the center i've got these two kind of question marks because i don't know really what to put there but i was thinking of some kind of like blend between the two, like if you progress to this point in this side, and you also progress to this point in the other side, then you can get these middle skills. And I was thinking one of the skills could be a leap attack, but beyond that I'm not actually sure what it should be, and your feedback is most welcome on that. Then on the sorcery side, what we've got is the first side which is about a spell called the Fury of Sahanek. And what that does is when you cast it on zombies, they become enraged and they move really fast and attack really fast. They kind of become like fast zombies. And so when you level up with the first level, its duration gets increased by 50%. Then the next level, it starts to deal damage to enemies that have sort of hit in the radius of it. And then the final level of the first node increases that damage a bit more. Then, for the next part, it starts to heal the caster by the damage dealt. Then it starts to slow enemies. And finally, it heals the caster for 100% of the damage dealt. Then after that, uh, in the C category, or C node, the zombies affected by this buff will start to do life stealing attacks. Then after that they'll start doing increased damage. And finally, they'll explode on death. And for the last node in this uh, tree, the 
Fury of Sahanek buff will be permanent, so you only have to cast it once and the zombies stay enraged and fast and with all these previous benefits until they die, basically. Then on the other side of the of the page, we've got the Evil Eye skill. And what the Evil Eye spell is, it's basically you launch a strange little grub out and it latches onto the enemy and deals damage. A lot of damage, actually. It usually one hits like a lesser minion. For the first levels of it you can decrease the mana cost and then for the for the last level of the first uh, node it will cause the evil eyes to spawn and burst for free so you can kind of like spray them around. Then for the next level I want it to deal um, to heal the caster with damage dealt so like 10%, 20%, 30% of damage dealt heals the caster then for the next level of it, I want that when it latches onto an enemy, that enemy gets converted to your side for 5 seconds. Then after that, it will increase that enemy's damage by 50% for 5 seconds. So while the enemy is converted to your side, it's buffed basically. Then for the last level of that node, I want the Evil Eyes effects to have a 15% chance to spread to nearby enemies. So if you're lucky, you'll get like a chain reaction of all these guys converting to your side. Then for the final node, which is the big one, basically what that will do is after the duration of the spell, the evil eye will grow into a full-sized permanent minion to accompany you. Which is really cool in my opinion. So that's it for the first two pages. Then we come to the last page, which is the monsters page, and it buffs these three monsters. Now I've got pictures of them because, like, unlike zombies or whatever, you can't picture in your mind what these things look like. So the first one is the spawn of Sahanek. It's basically like a little monstrous bat thing. And then after that you've got the Sahanef, which is this guy here, and he's kind of like a a really creepy looking undead with scythe like appendages. And the last guy is the Sar Rook, and he's like the giant unit of the faction. He's basically like a big brute with spiky fists and a hideous mouth and long tongue. And I was thinking for them, this side of the skill tree is a lot less complete, and in fact I didn't finish it off for the for the right side. But basically like if you're progressing down the left side it works on the flying units, so you start getting more flying units spawning in. And then you get a chance of different colors of them, and like each little color has its own ability, like some of them are only for anti-air. Others will sort of fly down and kamikaze into the enemies on the ground. Others will swoop, and some will act like bombers and just like regurgitate bile onto the enemies below. Then, after that, when to progress further along this tree, you'll start getting eyes of Sahanek. It's basically like a floating eyeball with like tentacles and stuff. And it's basically going to be like a flying spellcaster unit. And it will be quite like, quite a tough sort of high level kind of unit. Then for the final level, I wasn't really able to come up with something too cool in my opinion. So feedback welcome, but I just settled on increasing their speed damage and health by 25% and then making them explode on death and like shower the enemies blow in, in damaging bile. Then for the monsters side of thing, like on the other side of the monsters tree, the right side, it's just about adding more Sarkanefs per cycle so you get more of these Scythe guys. And then if you upgrade the next ability it starts improving those guys. They begin to deal more damage, and they get life stealing. They get a leap attack, and they begin to terrify nearby enemies and reduce their damage by 50%. Then once we get to the uh, last two nodes, it starts increasing the Sar Rooks, so these big guys. But I kind of like blanked out on what they, what these buffs or whatever or abilities could actually be. So yeah, your feedback is really welcome on that. Anyway, I just wanted to show everyone this to get some feedback on it because it's pretty hard to come up with all this stuff. And in the future I'll post a video about the skeletons and stuff, but this is 
just for the High Priestess right now. And she's about these minions here depicted. So she's got lots of zombies, and she's got various kinds of monstrous constructs, and mummies, and these flying beasts. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think. Until the next video.